Hello people, welcome back. In this one, we're going to be celebrating 30, that's right, 30 years of Temple of the Dog. In fact, it was released 30 years ago today. So we're going to be doing two lessons, one today, one tomorrow. So be sure to check back tomorrow. Today's lesson is an acoustic rendition of Call Me A Dog. Uh, which um, Chris Cornell performed in some amphitheatre. I forget where and when, but I'll put a link in, in the description below. And I'm going to go through um, all of the kind of incidental bits and pieces that he puts in in that, because um, there's some cool stuff in there. So enough nattering, let's get on and learn this bad boy, shall we? Now, before we get going, this tune is in 6-8, so it's got a kind of... <laughs> feel to it and the um, strumming pattern is down up down up down up down up down up down up down repeated around right subtle variations throughout as ever you know putting in extra down strokes here and there um, if you wish you can do that as well but the very very basics are down up down up down okay and that just gets repeated throughout. Now we'll go through the chords first and then we will look at the embellishments that Chris puts in, right? Because there's some cool stuff in there. Now the um, chords are basically A minor, G, D, and then a C, B run down, right? All right, so. So that's pretty straightforward stuff. But a um, couple of bits that you might find tricky. The C chord to the B chord, right? So you go one, two, three, two, two, three. All right, that's the change. Um, and you do a normal C chord when you go to the B. So you literally just take your third finger off, move your second finger from the second fret on the uh, on the D string to the second fret on the A. And the D open string gets kind of muted there by some meat off your second finger, right? And you strum the rest of the strings, right? matter if the D rings out at all um, but that's that part now there's one embellishment in this section and it comes uh, on the G chord he just does um, a hammer-on from the um, the open A to the second fret okay now you can hold the entire shape if you want to move your hand about but the easiest way I find to play this is to kind of abandon your um, third finger on the root right for the last part of the chord and just strum the higher registers so you're going to play okay so what I'm doing there is just that's the standard strumming pattern down up down up and then I've I've keep my like third and fourth fingers where they are, yeah, covering the third fret on the B and E. But you've got to try and just pluck out the A string, and then do a up down up to complete that um, that bar, right? So slowly. I'm exaggerating it there so you can hear it clearly but that's basically what you want to go for and then when you get it to speed it should sound like that okay so the whole part through That's 
that bit. Now for this next section you're going to play A minor to D to E to F. Then you're going to slightly vary that, another four bars though, A minor, G, E, E7. And he alternates by going from the E, E7 is just basically taking your third finger off. Um, so that the D strings open, right? But you can also put your little finger on the third fret. So he does a combination of those. So let's play that whole thing around slowly, okay? So starting on the A minor. A minor. D. To E. To F. Back to A minor. To G. To E. E7. And then you go back to the beginning of the verse. Embellishments in that part occur on the D, the F, and the E7. So we're going to go, so that would be basically the second, fourth, and eighth bar of embellishments. So embellishment number one is on the um, second bar, uh, where he basically goes, just takes his second finger off, right? So you're playing a D sus2 there. So down, up, down, up, then change. Down, up, down. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. So the first part would be. Next part, the uh, uh, embellishment comes on the F. So we're going to play. That's the E, and then up to the F. And there he just plays. One to two, right? So he's taking his second finger off, putting it back on. Don't even know if you can hear that. So that's that one. Then A minor G E. When you go to the E seven, he does the same thing there. Right, so you've basically only got your second finger and your first finger in play there. And the, these, um, they all come in on the one, two, three, two, two, three, right? On that um, second strongest kind of beat, right? One, two, three, two, Put it in wherever you want, right, using any of those chords, but this is how, how Chris does it. So that's the second part. Then you're into the chorus. Now the chorus gets really interesting. Um, you're basically playing two bars of C, two bars of G for the first half. Um, D, A minor, G, and E and E7, right? So nothing new in terms of chords, but there's a few um, extra embellishments. So let's go through those, right? So the first part is... Um, let me play the whole thing through once and then we'll break it down, right? So, two, three, four. back into the verse again right so what's he doing there basically two bars of C two bars of G for the first part but at the end of the first bar he does this he puts his little finger on the third fret there on the D string so it's so one two three two two three okay That's that bit. Then the G part is a little bit more complicated. You're going to play. Um, 
and then into the D, right? So the G part is just... So one, two, three. All right, with that part again, it's the same as the verse. But at the end of it, you're going to play. So that's on the, um, the last beat of that bar. You play a C. And you can just do that. Move your um, first and second fingers up. Um, one string each, right? Or Chris moves shape a lot in the video, so rather than playing, you'll see him play, go to a full C chord shape, right? But he keeps his little finger on the uh, on the um, third fret on the E string, and then he'll move his se second and third fingers down, and take his first finger off. It's a bit more complicated though, so you're going to play. Do that if you want. Again, slowly. But you've got quite a few things to remember to do with your fingers. Or just play. Which is super easy, right? You've got one thing to think about. So again, that's slowly. Then you've got this. Zero, three on the A, and then D, open, then the D chord. A minor, G, with that little change again. However you want to play it, then you've got E and E7 again. the call me a dog bit. Now the second time when you hit the chorus, subtly different, um, he abandons that first fill, so he just plays the C straight this time around. Now he only plays eight bars of the ten bar phrase that we previously played, so he cuts out the E to the E7. The first time, right? So he plays the eight bar chunk, and then he repeats the eight bar chunk, and then he plays the E to the E7, right? But the second time round, the G part is just stays on the G. It doesn't do that. All right, so let's play it around slowly. So C. To G. D. A minor. C G D A minor G G E E seven I think you're back into the verse again, right? Um, then when you've got that that fair enough bit, it's like a middle eight section really, you're gonna play um, two bars of D and then E, G, B flat, C, right? So the B flat's the new chord there. That goes like this. play that round twice. So that's pretty straightforward. Two bars of D. And there I think sometimes he puts in the sus4, right? So you'll play. And then round again, right? So it's just E, G, B flat, which is just like the power chord, right? Then, coming out of that, you're going to play two bars of D again, but then it mixes up a bit and you get e, A minor E twice, F, E, A minor G. <laughs> so it's just a big, long bunch of chords, right? So um, once you've done that twice, D, 
Maina. Hey. Hey Maina. Hey. F. Hey. Hey Maina. G. And that is it. Then you basically go into the chorus twice, and then you um, uh, again, and you finish. But you do that weird eight bar and then you know the second repeat is the full 10 bars and that's it friends so there you have it now make sure you come back and check tomorrow we've got another one coming up see you soon cheers bye bye